हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑन वेक्टर कैलकुलस इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस वन रिजल्ट फॉर डिसाइडिंग वेदर गिवन वेक्टर फील्ड इज कंजर्वेटिव और नॉट इन दिस लेक्चर आल्सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनदर टेस्ट फॉर कंजर्वेटिव वैक्टर फील्ड्स बिफोर गोइंग फॉर दिस लेक्चर वी जस्ट रिकॉल द टेस्ट फॉर कंजर्वेटिव वैक्टर फील्ड विच वी हैव सीन इन लेक्चर नंबर फोर so in lecture number 4 we have seen that if call of f bar is zero vector and uh, components of f bar have continuous first order partial derivatives then f bar is a conservative vector field so to prove that f bar is a conservative vector field uh, we have to prove that call of vector field f bar is zero vector and we have to check whether component functions of f bar have continuous partial derivatives of first order so using these two conditions if these two conditions are satisfied then we can say that f bar is conservative on a given domain d today we are going to discuss another result or test to check whether given fact given vector field is conservative or not so we understand this another test it is known as component test for conservative vector fields because we are going to use this components of f bar so i have taken f bar equal to m into i plus n into j plus p into k where this m and p are components of vector field f bar and they are scalar functions of x y and z so suppose f bar equal to m into i plus n into j plus p into k be a vector field whose component functions that is capital m and p have continuous first partial derivatives so we require this condition here also in this result also we assume that components of f bar have continuous first partial derivatives and here also we have that assumption that f bar is a vector field whose component functions have continuous first partial derivatives that is capital m capital n and capital p are those type of functions of x y z whose first order partial derivatives are continuous on a given domain then f bar is conservative if and only if these three equations are satisfied which includes partial derivatives of this uh, three components m and p with respect to x y z so how to remember these three equations so you can for first equation you can concentrate on the first two components so we can consider this as x component this as y component to remember all these uh, equations and this we can consider as z component so if we consider this combination capital m and capital n then we will take uh, in this way here m and n are x and y components so we will take partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x that is we consider partial derivative of x component with respect to y and partial derivative of y component with respect to x that is del m by del y and del n by del x must be equal so this is just for understanding how to remember this uh, result which is known as component test for conservative fields so if i consider m and n then i will understand that m is x component n is y component so we have this type of combination here components which are x and y components so we differentiate x component with respect to y and we differentiate y component with respect to x so in this way uh, we can write other two equations also now instead of m and n we consider this combination n and p so this we consider as y component this we consider as z component and therefore we take derivative of y component with respect to z and derivative of z component with respect to y that is partial derivative of n with respect to z and partial derivative of p with respect to y 
so these two also must be same and last combination is we have to consider x and z components that is capital m and capital p so we differentiate capital m which is x component with respect to z and uh, we differentiate z component with respect to x because we have taken combination of m and n so if these three equations are satisfied together with this uh, continuity condition of first two partial derivatives then also we can say that f bar is conservative vector field so remember this is also easy to check you are familiar with uh, evaluating partial or derivatives of first order and uh, this is easy to remember if you consider first and second components or we call them as x and y components then we take reverse combination for partial derivatives del m by del y equal to del n by del x similarly if we consider these two then del n by del z equal to del p by del y and if we consider m and p then del m by del z equal to del p by del x so if these three equations are satisfied then only we can say that f bar is a conservative vector field now this vector field we have taken in space that is in r3 but suppose we are talking about conservative field in r2 then this component will be absent k component so in that case we have only two components capital m and n so in that case uh, we have to consider capital m and n components only that is x and y component so f bar will be conservative in r2 if del m by del y equal to del n by del x that is only one condition will be required because p is going to be zero if we are talking about vector field in r2 then we can consider it as a vector field in r3 whose uh, z component or k component is zero so if p is zero then these two equations uh, has no meaning because they contain this partial derivatives of p with respect to x and y so in that case we have to consider only first equation so if f bar is having two components m and n then we consider this as x component this as y component then f bar is conservative if partial derivative of m with respect to y will be equal to partial derivative of n with respect to x and this equation we can write in another form as if del m by del y minus del n by del x equal to zero and this quantity is known as scalar curl of vector field f bar so vector field f bar is conservative in r2 if its scalar curl which is del m by del y minus del n by del x is zero del m by del y minus del n by del x is known as scalar curl of vector field f bar so remember this is another test for deciding whether given vector field is conservative or not and uh, using this test also we can easily decide whether our vector field is conservative or not i have taken these three vector fields and i have to decide whether the following vector fields are conservative or not so we start with the first one here first component is y sin z into i plus x sin z into j plus x y cos z into k and uh, here we use this notation that if you consider first component as capital m then we consider m equal to y sin z second component we consider as capital n and third component we denote by capital p x y cos z and we can see that all these components have continuous first order partial derivatives because they are combination of polynomial and trigonometric functions sin z and cos z so clearly m n and p which are component functions of f bar have 
continuous first parcel derivatives continuous first parcel derivatives clearly this have continuous first parcel derivatives so now we check those three equations so for that first we have to check whether del m by del y and del n by del x are equal or not and uh, what is capital m capital m is y sin z so del m by del y will be sin z because derivative of y is 1 and we consider sin z as constant okay, we are differentiating this first component which is which is x component with respect to y so y, derivative of y is 1 sin z is constant so del m by del y is sin z similarly we require partial derivative of n with respect to x so x has derivative 1 and sin z is constant so we can see del m by del y equal to del n by del x so first equality is satisfied del m by del y equal to del n by del x similarly we have to check other two equalities or equations so for that now we concentrate on n and p that is y and z components so i have to check what is del n by del z and del p by del y so del n by del z and del p by del y i have to check whether they are equal at every point or not del n by del z is x constant derivative of sin z is cos z so here i have x constant derivative of sin z is cos z and uh, partial derivative of p with respect to y so x cos z is constant derivative of y is 1 so del p by del y is also x times cos z so this equation is also satisfied del n by del z equal to del p by del y and the last equation is now we consider capital m and capital p that is capital p is z component capital m is x component so we differentiate m with respect to z and p with respect to x m with respect to z and i have to decide derivative of p with respect to x now what is capital m capital m is y sin z and we are differentiating this with respect to z so here i have to consider derivative of capital m with respect to z y constant derivative of sin z is cos z so i have y times cos z and i have to decide what is del p by del x so here y cos z is considered as constant and derivative of x is 1 so del p by del x is y cos z and that is equal to del m by del z this is y cos z so i can write that therefore del m by del y and del p by del x are also equal so all these three equations are satisfied which we are required to be equal in component test for conservative field so therefore we can say that a given vector field is conservative therefore given vector field is conservative so this is another simple criteria to check whether vector field is conservative or not second one is minus y i plus x j so now we check for second one it is having only two components minus y i plus x j so we can consider this as a vector field in r2 and uh, we can see x component is minus y and y component is x 
so we have to differentiate x component with respect to y this m is x component n is y component so derivative of m with respect to y is minus 1 and derivative of n with respect to x is 1 so we can see partial derivative of m with respect to y and partial derivative of n with respect to x are not equal therefore f bar or given vector field is not conservative or we can say that the scalar curl of this vector field is not conservative and before writing our solution we have to denote a given vector field by f bar or, or we can simply write that given vector field is not conservative because it has two components k component is absent therefore this is a vector field in r2 and uh, with x component as minus y y component as x so we have to differentiate x component with respect to y that is del m by del y is minus 1 and del n by del x is 1 therefore these two are different therefore f bar is not conservative and the last one is let me check what is that last one y sin z i x sin z j plus x y cos z that was the first one third one is this one z plus y into i then z into j z plus y into i plus z into j plus y plus x into k let me check again z plus y z and y plus x z plus y z and y plus x okay that is fine so this is vector field in r3 and we denote it by f bar and uh, we can see here x component which we denote by capital m is z plus y y component we denote by capital n which is z and z component we denote by p it is y plus x so first we check for x and y components that is partial derivative of x component with respect to y must be equal to partial derivative of y component with respect to x so del m by del y is derivative of z is 0 derivative of y is 1 and del n by del x is 0 so this is not equal del m by del y and del n by del x are different here m is x component n is y component so we have to differentiate x component that is m with respect to y and uh, therefore derivative of z is 0 derivative of y is 1 and we have to differentiate y component which is n or z with respect to x that is del n by del x and there is no x here so its derivative is 0 so we can say that del m by del y and uh, del n by del x are different so we don't have to check for remaining two equations this means f bar is not conservative if f bar is conservative then we must have all equations satisfied so if at least one equation is not satisfied you can conclude that f bar is not conservative so in this uh, session we have discussed about conservative vector field and how to check whether given vector field is conservative or not for that we have used this component test for conservative vector field so if we have m into i plus n into j plus p into k as a vector field then this vector field is conservative if and only if these three equations are satisfied if we consider first two components 
then derivative of x component with respect to y equal to derivative of y component with respect to x if we consider these two components then they are considered as y and z components that means partial derivative of y component with respect to z equal to partial derivative of z component with respect to y and if you consider first and last component then they are x and z components so we differentiate capital M with respect to z and capital P with respect to x if these three equations are satisfied together with the condition that this M and P have continuous first order partial derivatives then we can say that F bar is a conservative vector field and if we have this type of vector field uh, suppose we have a vector field in R2 then it have only two components M and N so in that case we have to de decide only this uh, equation or we have to check whether this equation is satisfied or not if f bar is conservative then del m by del y must be equal to del n by del x so for f bar in r2 we have to check only one equation and for f bar in r3 we have to check three equations if these three equations are satisfied and if m and p have continuous first order partial derivatives then f bar is conservative so this is all about this session in upcoming session we will see that if f bar is conservative then how to find out this uh, scalar potential or potential function such that its gradient is the given conservative vector field so this is all about this session I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.